Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we are looking at a beer. Can you tell this shirt is now two sizes too small for me? I can. Anyway, you are, we are going to look at a beer. This beer will be a beer that was sent to me by the one and only Nicholas. Nicholas Pickles, uh from Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews in New Brunswick. Um, which one do I want to look at first? You know what? I'm going to look at this one. Uh, only because it intrigues me the most and it's the lowest ABV, so it uh, worries me that it's going to be the one that's going to turn faster. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way just in case it ever ends up on camera. And I'm going to grab a bottle opener. My really cheap Chinese uh, wood bottle opener that barely ever works, but it's the only one that's near me that will save a bottle cap. Because we are looking at this beer, which is from... Oh, it's, it's made for a marathon. Marathon Bay de Chaleurs. Uh, this is from Quebec City. This is Microbrasserie Le Nothroyer. Nothroger. Nothroger. You're not a frogger. Uh, in Carlton Sewer, Mer Quebec. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mixture of meat purposely botching the language, me not being able to read it, and me being out, out of French for almost 20 years. A mixture of all three of those things are what's killing me here. Anyway, this is a Le Tap de Fer, Le Tap de Fer, which is a session beer, which is 3.5% alcohol by volume. Now, the entire bottle is in French. I don't know, uh, ingredients, eau, orge, malte, miel, uh, uh, Le Vieux and Hulbon, so water, malted barley, honey, mm. I don't know, I don't remember what Le Vieux is, could be yeast I guess, uh, and Hulbon is hops, so other than honey, basically your average stuff, um, it's made with Tropical, tropical fruit and spices, it says. Oh, okay, so, uh, it's excellent beer to savor in the moment. That's, that's my translation of the only parts of it that I could really read. Ooh, that's, uh, something I feared would happen. I feared it would have a little bit of turn. One, it's a low ABV. Two, I'm not 100% sure how long Nick has had this beer. And three, it's just my luck. It's just my dumb luck. So, nice orangey color on that. Big head, kind of off-white. It is a visually appealing beer. And the one thing I can give it is that, that possible slight infection with the uh, slight gush that it had. Uh, I think it might have just been shaking a little too much because it's not there anymore, but it came out really slow for that. But that slight uh, slight explosion actually makes this a very, very nice looking beer. It is hazy, it has a beautiful head, with almost absolutely no snap, crackle, pop. This head isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Scent. It smells like head. You know, big sloppy head, no. You do get those tropical fruits. I'm getting like orange, uh, mango. Orange, mango, passion fruit. And a little bit of, uh, a little bit of almost like a roasted malt. And, uh, that's about it. Let's try it. Cheers. Um, still a lot ahead. I could probably talk for another 20 minutes and that head wouldn't go away, so I guess I'm going to have to just do it. Okay, now, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a stay classy from Bellwoods. 
But this is a pretty damn good beer for 3.5% alcohol. I mean, yeah, you have to deal with some head problems. But what guy wouldn't, you know, deal with some head problems or something good? Even head. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, that was very insensitive of me. Please forgive me. Uh, but back to, uh, back to the beer itself. Yeah, it's, it's drinkable. And, I mean, that's, that's all you really can ask for in a beer, is that it be drinkable. And this one is just that. It is very drinkable. A little more hoppy than I expected, with a little less fruitiness than I expected from the nose. But again, that could be an age thing, and at 3.5% alcohol, there's not much in there to help preserve the hop flavors. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all that being said, it is a nice beer, and again, it's not a stay classy, but I personally like it better than, say, a, uh, a, uh, cruiser from Amsterdam, or say a d detour from Muskoka. Uh, I, not to say those are bad beers, because I like both of them, just that I find this one for a all-day session beer to be a better choice, but this isn't, this still isn't the type of session that I wish. I wish that... Brewers didn't only go with fads. I wish they would actually brew something for tradition as well. I mean, I would love if this was a 3.5% alcohol beer that was like a traditional, like, English mild, or even, because this is Quebec, even like a traditional Belgian Saison or Grist, uh, or a traditional Gruet, or a traditional, uh... Sauté, or something like that. Just something different that's low ABV. Instead, it is a... Session IPA basically. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of hops. But a good one. It is a good one. I cannot take that away from it. So light bodied like you'd expect from a 3.5% alcohol beer. A little bit of sweetness up at the forefront. But that's not malt as much as uh, almost like a honey taste. Um, you do get like that Cisco honey uh, sweetness crossing your tongue right up at the forefront which probably helps the back end bitterness a little bit. Then, a little bit of tropical fruits. Um, <sighs> passion fruit and pineapple is what I'm tasting. Mixed with a almost soda watery-esque uh, orange. And then, bitterness. Um, almost that medicinal bitterness you get from some hops, the, uh, the resiny, oily, medicinal-esque type of bitterness at, back on the back end. But it's, it's more apparent than the, than the citrus fruit taste, but at the same time it's not so apparent that it's uh, unenjoyable. It's just more apparent than I was expecting it to be with the smell I had gotten. really a nice beer. And actually with each sub subsequent sip the bitterness seems to fade more so than it builds because on most hoppy beers the the bitterness builds with each subsequent sip. On this one it's it's kind of fading away so I'm actually liking that even more. This would be a great you know cutting the grass beer. I like that. Out of 10 on it I'll give it a 7.5. I have absolutely nothing wrong with it. Well nothing against it. So thank you guys. Bye!